Live from Scout Studio, it's things to talk about. Good morning, Jags. Today we've gotten together to talk about things that are related to being responsible. I'm Allison. I'm Jenna G. I'm Ayla. I'm Raphael. And I'm Jenna C. We've got a lot of things to talk about, so let's get started. We have an interesting story to share about a very special lesson about respect. Not only is the lesson special, it also took quite a long time to teach it. Five teenagers were charged with painting graffiti on his historic old schoolhouse back at Ashburn, Virginia in September 2016. The schoolhouse, which had been used to teach black children during segregation, had been covered in racist statements and doodles that seemed typical of misled youngsters. Prosecutor and Deputy Commonwealth Attorney Alejandra Ruda believed that the kids were lashing out and she felt that she had a chance to turn the incident into an educational opportunity. So instead of simply putting the kids on probation, Rueda drew up a list of 35 different books that dealt with the pain and tragedies of racial injustices. The teens were then asked to read one of the books each month for a year. For every book they read, they were to write a 3,500 word essay on the consequences of racism, racism and prejudice. Additionally, the teens were to visit the Holocaust Museum and a History Museum exhibit on the Japanese American internment camps following Pearl Harbor. Now, two years after the incident, it is clear that Rueda's sentencing did exactly what she hoped it would. The kids are sticking to their education, they have not reoffended, and based on their essays as well as statements, they are all embarrassed and regretful of their crime. Sometimes a person who has been led down the wrong path just needs a little guidance to gain respect for everyone and realize how their wrongdoings can hurt others and make them feel disrespected. Tomorrow is Spirit Day. It is Get Your Ears On Day. Wear your favorite Disney-themed hat or Minnie Mouse ears. Hope to see you wearing your ears. All 8th graders interested in playing bat baseball at Franklin High School next year. Franklin has a summer baseball program for incoming freshmen, and we want you to play for the Wildcats. If you're interested in playing baseball for Franklin High School, please attend our informational meeting on Wednesday, May 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the MP room at Franklin High School. Bring a parent or guardian with you to the meeting. Information regarding summer baseball program will be covered and questions will be answered. Email Coach Kilby at bkilby at egsd.net for more information. National Decency Day, Day on May 14th celebrates the basic standard of civility that every American deserves. Decency is a movement that, that was launched to inspire decency in everyday life. Decency is all about active listening, better understanding, and compassion towards others. By raising awareness, the movement aims to encourage schools and local communities, community groups to embrace decency. A New York City-based parent and graphic designer established National Decency Day in 2019. She was determined to make a difference and set out to bring decency back into everyday conversations and actions. She designed the decency button and wore it every day. The impact was immediate and the message spread. In July 2017, 535 decency buttons were mailed to each member of U.S. Congress. In September 2017, decency was recognized on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives, encouraging both sides to reach across the aisle with civility and serve as role models for us all. Since then, two schools in the country have incorporated decency into their curriculums and engaged their local communities in the movement. By raising awareness, the movement aims to encourage more participants to embrace decency. Promotion dance, the promotion dance is this Friday, May, 13, May 17th, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 each. You need an ID to purchase a ticket and to enter the dance. Now it's time for Pet of the Week. This is Mrs. Grove's dog, Tia. She loves to play in the, back, in the water in her backyard. This is Anson Chen's guinea pigs, Brownie and Bean. They were recently adopted from an animal shelter and love to eat. This is Lucas Stinciolo's dog, Loie. She loves going to the beach and playing in the backyard, too. This is also Lucas's dog, Pilot. He loves to run, run, and run, and then run some more. Loie and Pilot both love to go swimming and go for long walks. 
If you want to see your pet featured on TJTV, go to the TJTV interactive link in your Synergy email and upload a picture of your pet and tell us all about them. Club Live would like to remind you to always wear a properly fitting bike helmet when riding a bike, scooter, or skateboard. Remove earbuds when biking or walking so you're fully aware of your surroundings. Hey Jags, it's time for Guess the Emoji. Now we'll give you guys 10 seconds to guess these, the emoji combination. If you guess Milan, then you are correct. We'll see you next time when it's time for Guess the Emoji. It's that time of day again. Yep, it's time to see who's out there. Teachers, remember there was a link sent to you in your email and quick link. The first teacher I see is... Mr. Robloski. There is Mrs. Garcia. Mr. Pesci's class, thank you for being out there. I also see Mrs. Lewis. Finally, there's... Mrs. Lewis. Oh no, it's the Wilderman. The top five are Mrs. Middlebrook, John Mark LaChapelle, Mr. Robolsky's class, Mrs. Garcia, and Mr. Pesci. Thank you guys for watching the show today. Speaking of who's out there, let's do another drawing from the last couple days. Oh. So, the winner is... Mr. Robleski's class. Congratulations, Mr. Mr. The band did a marvelous job at their last concert. Didn't they perform outside? Yep. Let's see what their amazing outdoor concert looked like. On Wednesday, for the first time in Toby Johnson band history, our band performed their very first concert outside. Um, I actually like performing outside because it's a different area instead of being inside. <laughs> side is better because you know the wind doesn't attack your you know music <laughs> weather, except for the wind, added to the amazing music and made our first outdoor concert unforgettable. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Jenna. That wraps it up for today's discussion. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Things, Things to Talk, talk about. about. Wear your pride shirt tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye! Bye.